What's good, y'all? Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about this potential Easter egg that WWE gave us last night. Now I noticed this initially, but I didn't say anything about it because I wasn't too sure and I didn't want to reach. But it seems a bit as if a lot of people on social media has had the same thought I had when I initially saw this. So. As Cody's getting packed up by the rock in the cold, in the rain, suit messed up, shirt ripped up, and he was just getting destroyed out there. Beautiful sight, might I add. There is a production truck in the background. And on that production truck has John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, that's a very interesting pairing because the production truck sometimes you know they have more of the current wrestling wwe stars so the fact that they have some wrestling legends on there that are not really active right now it's very interesting and here's the thing wwe especially as of late with triple h being in control they like to put easter eggs they like to put things in the background that's not overly you know being talked about you have to actually look at it and see what's going on they've been doing that for a while you saw it last night with paul Heyman talking to drew mcintyre in the background and i think there was another segment where um andrade was talking to dominic mysterio in the background so there's one is I, I like that Triple H has been doing that, like those little Easter eggs where you gotta, you know, you're watching something in the foreground, you're watching a segment or a promo, but you notice something in the background. And this is the same thing because out of all the production trucks they could have had framed right there for Cody to be getting packed up, they have Stone Cold Steve Austin and John Cena there. Now, John Cena has been stated. Uh, well, has said uh, recently that he would like to be involved, involved in this year's WrestleMania, which I do think he will be. And honestly, here's the thing. This is WrestleMania. And I know some people may say John or Stone Cold don't need to be involved in the storyline. I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't complain if they were because this is WrestleMania. And you're going to pull out the stops. Now, I've seen... Some people on social media saying John Cena would fit more considering he did get packed up by Solo. So it would make sense for John Cena to come out there and help Cody in their Bloodline Rules match because I do think that we're going to get that for night two. But at the same time, Stone Cold could be involved in it just as much. I know he's not really involved in this Bloodline storyline, but stone cold and the rock their rivalry will always be a thing so you can never go wrong with a stone cold coming in to help out the baby face in cody Rhodes. you can never go wrong with that another reason why i think this is a a potential easter egg or a potential teaser is john cena has publicly endorsed cody Rhodes. he has definitely given cody Rhodes that that rub of He's the next baby face. He's the next guy up. Uh, I don't know if Stone Cold has done that, but I'm willing to bet uh, Stone Cold could, you know, character-wise could understand and empathize with someone that's trying to go against the, the, the crazy odds. I mean, Stone Cold was trying to go against uh, the regime of Vince McMahon. He, he had to really figure out a way to overcome that and the same thing with uh, Cody Rhodes, except not Vince McMahon, but someone that's essentially replaced Vince McMahon in the power level of being the final boss, being one of the board members. He's essentially replaced Vince McMahon in the bloodline. So Cody has to overcome those odds. And it's just, to me, I think it's quite hilarious that this guy's getting packed up in the cold and in the rain. And you look at some of the greatest baby faces, some of the greatest wrestlers in in wwe history looking on <laughs> on a uh production truck as one of the future baby faces of the company is getting packed up like it's kind of poetic it's like him getting packed up and and them watching it it's like 
Don't worry, my child. We'll help you. <laughs> so I don't know, man. This to me, WWE doesn't do things, especially lately, without some type of payoff. And I just I find it very hard to believe that they would literally have this man get packed up in front of two of these legends, their faces being on a production truck. And one of those said legends wanted to come back and has been involved in the bloodline story. So, and I think with the Stone Cold part, I think that's just a situation of if they do have him come to uh, WrestleMania, they're going to try to keep that hush because you want that to be hush. You don't want people to really know. The John Cena part would be cool to see, and I think the crowd will pop crazy, but the crowd will really and truly lose their shit, including me, if they hear that glass break, bro. Because we recently, not too long ago, just had Stone Cold pop up at WrestleMania going against Kevin Owens. That was so fucking fun. But to have Stone Cold and The Rock be at WrestleMania 40 with John Cena, come on, bro. I, I, you, you can't deny that would be a WrestleMania moment. And me personally, what I would want, it could be a situation where Cody's about to get packed up once again. The odds are against him. There's not much he can do. It's almost over for him. The bloodline is about to win. And then all of a sudden, you hear doo, 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 doo. <laughs> crowd goes crazy. Solo got that look on his face. And he runs down there in his jorts and, and start laying the, the beats on Solo, trying to even up the odds. And then it could be a moment where things start to die down. And then Cody trying to fight back, but he's still got, he's about to get packed up by The Rock himself. And then all of a sudden you hear that glass break. Oh my God. And The Rock, you know The Rock always would sell the facial expressions when the glass broke for Stone Cold. It broke. I would lose my shit. <laughs> Everyone that I've seen talk about it on social media, they said the same thing. I hear that glass break and I hear the doo, 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 doo. it's over. I'm going to lose my shit. And I think... If you're going to make this one of the biggest WrestleManias of, pop, of all time, you got you can do that. Will it be an overbooked, nonsensical match? Yes, but we're here for the story at this point. And none of those individuals that come in there to help Cody need to put, they, nobody needs to put a hand on Roman Reigns. It only needs to be, the Cody needs to be the one to put hands on Roman Reigns. Nobody else. They're there to run defense and to stop everybody else. Cody needs to be the one to put hands on Roman Reigns. And I'm okay with it, bro. I don't think anyone else would trip. I know some people say it would be some overbooked nonsense. And, oh, you're, re you're trying to uh, live off nostalgia. Who cares? It's WrestleMania, bro. The Rock and Stone Cold. John Cena has some, you know, he's had his issues with The Rock, bro. Come on, bro. That's all I'm saying, man. So, y'all comment down below. Let me know. Would you guys be interested, guys and girls, be interested in seeing a Stone Cold and John Cena run in at the main event uh, for Night 2 in the Bloodline Rules match? Because uh, I, I do think that's what this potential Easter egg is, you know, maybe alluding to. Would you guys be interested in that happening? Or do you guys think it should be somebody else to run in to help uh, Cody Rhodes overcome the odds? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. But I appreciate all the love support you guys showing on channel. Rhodes on 50k. And I'm still Young Speed, the YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.